Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Yellow Duke Scotland. In this video, I will be visiting the praying hands of Mary. What's that? I hear you ask. Well, in Glen Lyon in Perthshire, there is an enigmatic rock formation. A 12 foot tall upright stone with a split in the middle, its shape giving the impression of a pair of hands in supplication. The weird appearance of the stones, their beautiful and lonely location, and the eerie atmosphere surrounding them, induces a sense of mystical awe in the visitor, if they are susceptible to such feelings. It is probably a natural feature, but it reminds you very much of the standing stones that the Neolithic people of Britain would set into the ground on their sacred sites. So let's head for Glen Lyon and seek out this mysterious stone structure, the praying hands of Mary. This is Glen Lyon, which Sir Walter Scott said was the longest, loneliest and loveliest glen in Scotland. In Pictish times, this was an important centre for the Kingdom of the Picts, with good links to Glencoe in the west, Dunotter in the east, and Stirling to the south. But uh, my mission today is to get to the praying hands of Mary, which is in that direction there. So, let's get going. So, this is the mysterious rock formation known as the Praying Hands of Mary. As you can see, it is a split rock. Nobody knows whether it is natural or man-made. It gets its name, of course, because it resembles a pair of hands in prayer. Let's get a bit closer. Here's a bit of rock that has obviously fallen down and is wedging the two halves of the praying hands apart. Inside there's a bit of bracken growing in the middle there. Bit of heather here. Yeah. As interesting rock formations go, this one is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> 